my name is James Williams and this is my final video before uh, the day's end. So I want to talk about Supergirl last night. Alright, if you haven't watched it, get off the channel. Because this is full of spoilers, or at least kind of spoilers. Cause I didn't get to watch all of it, but I watched enough of it. Because I am confused as fuck at which universe they're in, which world they're doing, and which damn Supergirl this is. So I grew up in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. I was born in the 70s, so I grew up in the 80s and 90s. And the Supergirl I knew was Kira. She was never, ever Cara Danvers. She was always Kira. She was Kira Kent. All right? And Kira Kent lived in Smallville with Clark, and she came after Clark, but she was never older than Clark. But apparently somewhere between the New 52s and the Rebirth, They've switched all that shit around and made her actually older than Clark and she got lost in space and came to whatever herb she's on. Now, I watched the episode Monday with her adopted sister and everything. I like the story. Don't get me wrong. I love Supergirl. This concept for this show is fucking awesome. And it seems like everyone who's ever had something to do with Superman has decided to exploit Martian Manhunter because apparently the world's not ready for the Martian Manhunter to get a show of his own. All right? But that's cool, too, because the Martian Manhunter is a bad motherfucker. Now, I'm sorry about the foul language, but the, the whole thing is, I'm sitting here, and last night, damn it, I missed the secrets of Wonder Woman. I knew it was something I was supposed to watch, but I totally missed it. But anyway, the whole thing is, apparently, because I'm more Marvel than DC, I also watched The Gifted last night. And some of them things are absolutely wrong, too. And as I've told you guys this time and time and time again, if you are a comic book fan, you cannot watch these shows with comic book eyes. You have to watch them with TV show eyes. And the reason I say that is because last night, when I was watching this shit, and I'm like, but Kira grew up in Smallville, just like Clark. She was raised by the Kents, just like Clark. What the fuck's going on? And, you know, she doesn't even know the Kents, really. I mean, she knows them, but she doesn't really know them. And I'm like, what the fuck? And it threw me, it took me somewhere I did, like, it was awesome. The adventure of the show was awesome. I'm not putting that down. I'm not chunking the actors or anything. But I've read comic books all my life because they're the only friends I've ever had. And before I stopped reading DC Comics, uh, Kara, Kira, whatever, was dating Lionel Luthor. So, like I said, I'm all fucked up. And, uh, not Lionel, excuse me, Lex Luthor. And he had his red hair and he had his mane and everything. So I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So DC Comics, just like Marvel, I'm pretty sure Marvel probably started at first with alternate universes and timelines. At least from my memory. I could be wrong, but from my memory, Marvel started the alternate timelines and alternate universes and etc. etc. Now, sticking on Supergirl, we're not going to go into alternate universes and timelines and all that other stuff because, you know, you can go Google that shit. I watched it and I'm like, okay, I don't remember the town they were in or whatever. It's a nice house they were in. And I'm sitting there like, but she was um, raised by the Kents. And she grew up in Smallville. And all the things that happened in Smallville were never on the show. And then when you see the Smallville TV show, even they had the Martian Manhunter and they had Akira. Which they also switched and made her older than... Um, Superboy, and she left him there. Yeah, but um, it it was it was oddly strange, but the show was good. So I'm gonna end the show and ask what the hell happened because I'm confused on this whole thing. Are they doing the Supergirl from the New Fifty Twos or the Rebirth or what the hell is going on? But you know, I'm not hating the show. I love the show. I'm never gonna be on the show. My acting career is never gonna take off. But you know. It's just a principle of, wow, have I really been under a fucking rock this long? Now, I, my, my whole comic book reading thing came to an end in 2010 because of the X-Men clusterfuck and because of the um, uh, whole Onslaught thing. After Onslaught, I just really fell off the grid in reading comics due to the fact that... Um, Bad things kept happening to my favorite characters, and they killed Asian Psylocke, and I'm like, you motherfuckers, because she was, like, my favorite, especially when she became Asian. She was really my favorite, because she was, like, real dangerous, and she rarely used her mutant powers outside of the psychic knife, but when she wasn't Asian, she 
use their mutant powers, but her telepathy wasn't as good as Xavier's. It was like basically just having two telepaths was like a pain in the ass. Or technically having three telepaths because Jean Grey is a telepath and a telekinetic, so she's not an Omega level mutant, but she's pretty close. Where uh, Legion is an Omega level mutant. There are quite a few Omega level mutants because Magneto and Xavier aren't Omega level, but they're close. But they also only have like uh, single powers. An Omega level mutant, for those who don't understand, I know it's supposed to be on Supergirl, but a Lego, uh, Omega level mutant is a mutant that has more than one central power in which they can resort on. All right, we're gonna get off that now. Back on Supergirl. Um, first, awesome ass powder blue car, and second, you know, I need to know what universe they're in. And next week, it's um, I don't know if they're gonna like follow through. Because the Justice League movie is dropping next week or whenever the hell the 17th is. Which I think might be this week. I'm not sure. But anyway, the the whole concept is that um, I don't know this Supergirl. Which is why the show is okay. Because I, I don't know about her being named Carver, Carla, Kara Danvers or Kara, Kara, whatever the fuck her name is. I don't know it. Because I, I, the Supergirl I grew up with was in Smallville. Okay? So, whatever alternate universe they're doing, good job. But, I don't really know. But they have proven that they're alternate universes with the crossovers with the Flash and Arrow and all the other stuff. So, you know, either or, you know, I like the show. It was awesome. I'm James Williams. You just come for having number two. Be seeing you.